Okay, here we are at my homemade firewood processor that I built. Go through a couple things here that I did to make it. First thing I did was I built a trailer out of basic five inch and three inch channel. Put some axles on it. Next thing I did, I built this conveyor system for the wood to sit on, got a two inch tubing. Uh, then I mounted my splitting system. I've got a three inch diameter cylinder right there, which is a little too big. It goes a little slow. I'm gonna change it up to a two. Um, I've got my eight way wedge back there. See that? And then I've got this five inch tubing mounts two things. It mounts my saw blade that comes straight up and down with that cylinder there. And it's guided by these poles. And then I also have my log hold to keep the log steady while I'm cutting mounted up there. Uh, that diameter of that saw blade is about 42 inches that you see. Um, come back here to the better view from the back. It just spits the wood out. We don't have a conveyor on it yet. You can see that big old hydraulic motor just sits up there. I'll show you the power plant that controls it. You can see it's a uh, an old gas engine out of a 1960 Ford truck. I think it's a 233 and transmission, automatic transmission still on it. We run it in first gear and we've got it coupled to this uh, hydraulic pump. That's 30 gallons a minute, 25 gallons a minute and 15 gallons a minute. That controls the saw blade because it needs the most. Then we've got our ram and all three of our other functions. We have just three basic functions. Uh, one's for the conveyor to roll forward and backward. One's for our log hold to go up and down. And then this is for our saw blade to go up and down. Then we've got our hydraulic ram and our uh, engage our saw, saw blade there. So on a good day, I can do three cords an hour with one guy helping me. If I've got good straight wood, I don't really have a lot of good straight wood left. Um, but let's, we're gonna fire it up and see, see what we can do with it. Thank <laughs> you. 